Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on setting the droop on your touring car. Um, it's quite easy to do. Uh, there are various methods uh, of setting your droop. Uh, you'll see on setup sheets uh, droop settings that are, you know, droop over ride height or droop under arm or droop at pin. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate and show you how the measurements are done. Uh, so right now, the chassis is sitting in front of us. We're going to do droop over ride height. All right. So our ride height is set at you know, 5.5 millimeters. And now what we'll do is we'll take our fingers here and put our thumbs right where the block is. And we'll just pop up the suspension like so. And then while the suspension is popped up, we'll take our thumb and slide the gauge underneath. And what you'll do is do the calculation. So we start off at 5.5. So 6.5 is one millimeter, 7.5 is two millimeters, and we're probably around eight millimeters. So that's 2.5 millimeters of droop. This is a great and effective, quick and effective way of doing it. But you're just measuring the overall droop. You're not actually measuring and making sure that both sides of the car are of equal uh, droop. So there's a downside to it, but it's a great way to check your droop settings. Uh, but what you need to do now is you want to make sure that both sides are equal. This is very important. They should always be equal left and right. Front and back can be different but left and right have to be exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, the wheels off. Uh, since this is just a demonstration, I've just moved the chassis forward. So the front end has dropped off. So the suspension is no longer working on the front end, affecting the droop. Now, what you want to do, we'll move the gauge of the way. You want to take your shocks off. All right, you want to disconnect them from the arm and you want to also disconnect uh, the roll bar. Uh, right now, I'm just going to leave the roll bar on uh, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, so, okay, so we got the one arm off. What you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing as you would on this side. So here's the method of measuring the droop using your ride height gauge. Um, now there's the method of measuring the droop uh, using this uh, step level here. What you'll need to do is you'll need to find another gauge that is 10 millimeters in height. If you have one, that's great. But if you don't, uh, you can pick up um, droop blocks or chassis setup blocks, but you want to make sure that they're 10 millimeters in height. So let's just go ahead and put that underneath the chassis. Make sure that when you put the gauge underneath the chassis, no screws are touching the, uh, the blocks, the 10 millimeter blocks. You want to make sure that they're clear of anything like that. Now we'll put the chassis on top and we'll simply measure the droop so as you can see it's a little bit less than five millimeters on this side and yeah it's just a little bit less than five millimeters and so what you want to do if you want to go to five millimeters you take your wrench screw down till it reaches five millimeters please remember Disconnect your sway bar. This is just for demonstration purposes. All right, and so what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's five millimeters on this side and five millimeters on this side. Okay, so that's one method of measuring droop. Uh, so let's take the block out here and let's just move the chassis a little bit forward. So we got the chassis nice and flat. The next method is using uh, the ride height gauge. And what you do is you simply take your ride height gauge like so. And where the pin is located, just move the gauge underneath and measure it there. So it's five millimeters there, 
And so what you want to do is measure on the other side to make sure that's equal as well. Um, there's another method, taking a ruler. Now, I lost my uh, usual ruler that measures uh, this setting here, um, but what you do is you take this huge ruler, don't, don't take this huge ruler, but uh, you'll take this ruler here, and what you'll do is you will simply move the ruler and measure the height of the hinge pin. And you want to make sure that you are measuring the hinge pin at its center point. Not at the bottom, not at the top, but you want to take the readings from the center of the hinge pin. Okay, I'm sorry, but this gauge is pretty useless. I don't know where the uh, other gauge that I use went to, but make sure that both sides are equal and uh, you're good to go. And like I said uh, before, uh, the front and back can be different. Obviously, you want to uh, have the front and back different, uh, but the left and right, you want to make sure that the right, the right left and the right right are equal, and the front left and the front right are equal. If they're not equal, you're going to run into some handling problems. So, step one, disconnect your shocks, disconnect your sway bar. Step two, make sure your chassis is de-tweaked. De so you don't want to have a tweaked chassis because uh, the uh, arms can be affected by that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And make sure that Oh, make sure that the the arms are not binding. If they're binding, you won't get accurate readings. Okay, I hope that helps, and uh, good luck with measuring your droop. Okay, bye-bye.